Now let's create a slightly more complex project in this tutorial. I've started Vasco da Gama and created a new project and we are in the new Easy Assist mode. Our journey should start in Berlin and we want to travel by car to Hamburg. So to begin with we have to create this route section from Berlin to Hamburg and this time I don't want to set the start and the ending point by clicking on the map because I want to set the points correctly to the position of Berlin and Hamburg and so I would like to use the GPS database of Vasco da Gama. I use this button here with a plus sign to create a new waypoint. This opens the search window for the GPS database and I'm looking now for Berlin and here it is and at this moment I can create directly a text at the stopover point. This comes in pretty handy when you want to create text at the waypoints because you are doing it on the fly. So I accept with OK and here we have our starting point Berlin and now we add the second point Hamburg. Here we have it. We are creating as well a text object and here is the new route section from Berlin to Hamburg. I zoom in a little bit so we can see a little bit more detail and I will change the viewing angle so we can look a little bit more from the side. This was too much. For example this way and I can zoom in still a little bit more. OK. So now I select the starting point of this route section because I would like to select the car for our journey. I activate the transportation for stage, select object and now I'm looking for the car group and I select the fourth one here, the roadster. Now let's make the symbol of the waypoints a little bit smaller so that they are not disturbing so much. And now the first thing I would like to activate is the acceleration and deceleration option here in the travel section so that our car starts slowly and smoothly slows down. Additionally, we can fade in our car at the starting point and fade it out at the end point. This option we find here in this menu and we switch from no fade to zoom in out one second. So now we have all the options for our car set but additionally I would like to show some sites at the waypoints, some objects so that we can recognize the cities. So I'm still at the waypoint of Berlin. I select object at waypoint. So I select the object go to the sites subcategory and here we find this well-known building from Berlin and we go to Hamburg and here we do the same thing select an object and we are still in the sites category and now we can select here this typical building of Hamburg the clock tower and now I use the global setting object size to make the objects a little bit bigger. I set it about to more or less 140%. So the objects are bigger in size. We can easily recognize the buildings. In this case, it doesn't matter that the size is not very realistic. So now let's have a look at our text objects. You remember we created for both waypoints text objects but we cannot really see the text because it lies flat on the ground and to solve this problem we use this buttons here in the global settings and we activate the rightmost one to direct the text to the camera via all three axes. So I activate it and now the text objects are always looking into the camera but they are still too low on the ground because they are behind 
all other objects. And here we have this wheel for the height of the object and now simply we lift the text a little bit up in the air so that they come above the buildings maybe this way. This is enough. So now let's have a look at the camera settings. The camera control is set to automatic and the actual camera profile is side glance 30 degrees. This is the default one. I switch to side glance 70 degrees which is looking a little bit more from the side. And now let's have a look at the real-time preview. We open the preview window and we play it back and now our car fades in, starts slowly and at reaching Hamburg it slows down and smoothly fades out. Although this was quite nice I would like to change the camera profile to get a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more action and I will switch to 180 degrees side glance. This comes in two versions turning to the left or turning to the right. I will select the first one and now we can additionally use the zoom correction but if I move this wheel here now we won't see anything because in the preview window we are at editor view. You may have a look at the button here on the lower left corner and I switch to camera view and now we can use the zoom correction because we see the result directly in our working window and I set the zoom correction to let's say 110 percent and here we see now that the text objects now are too far above the buildings so now we use the height wheel here and we correct this by moving it a little bit more down maybe until this point. So again let's have a look at the real-time preview. We play back our animation. The car starts and now we can see much more camera dynamic as the camera turns around the car to look at it from the other side and this looks much more exciting. So this was the first section of our traveling route and now I would like to add another section because we would like to go on from Hamburg to London by ship. So the first thing I do is I switch from camera view to editor view because our work is much easier in editor mode and I turn the camera to the top down view and I zoom out a little bit. Now to extend our journey to London I could simply add the next waypoint by setting the position of London from the GPS database but I would like to add a second travel section for the part from Hamburg to London because this gives me the possibility to have the route lines defined in a different way on both sections. So I add another section, another stage with this button automatically. Hamburg is selected as the active waypoint because it is the ending point of section 1 of stage 1 and it is the starting point of stage 2. So now I add another waypoint using the GPS database. We're looking for London. We we'll find it here. We will create a text object. So now we have the endpoint of our second stage and since we would like to go by ship from Hamburg to London we can't go in a straight line because this would look a little bit ridiculous. So I go one step back from London to Hamburg to activate Hamburg. So now let's zoom in further to see more detail and I make the symbols of the waypoints again a little bit bigger so that we can see them better. And Hamburg is slightly away from the river and to have our ship not starting over the land I drag the waypoint 
near the water near the river so now at this point we would like to change our object and now we have to control that we are at stage 2 because we are still at stage 1 I select stage 2 and the active point is Hamburg the starting point of stage 2 and now we select an object and I switch to the ships and I will select here the first one this cruise line the object is selected but we can't see it this is because the ship 2 has the zooming in and zooming out one second effect set and our car is slightly before the waypoint of Hamburg and when I drag the slider then you can see when the car reaches Hamburg it fades out and changes to the ship. So this is pretty normal that at some points we, you can't see some objects because they are simply still not faded in. So back to our route line which is still a straight line from Hamburg to London and we have to correct this, we have to adjust our route and I will do this by inserting additional route points, additional waypoints by clicking on the black and white dotted line. So I click and now I have inserted an additional point and I can drag it onto the center of the river and I will add another one and now we can see it is advisable to make the symbols a little bit smaller and to zoom out a little bit. This makes our work easier and now I go on inserting waypoints and dragging them onto the river and you can see we have selected rounded line so the root line adjusts itself automatically as I am setting the waypoints. You can see th this is very easy And now we are at the sea, so we can zoom out further because now our work is a lot more easier and we take a nice curved route heading to London. Here we have to zoom in again so that we can adjust here easier you see this is not complicated just adding points as you need them So, finished. Now we have a nicely adjusted route through the rivers, over the sea and heading for London. So now let's go directly to the real-time preview to see how our animation would look like. And now we can see directly that the view has changed a little bit because, remember, we have the camera control set to automatic and the camera control takes in count the whole route not only one section so the camera movement is calculated different and now we see that the text are a little bit too low so I cancel it directly go to camera view and we adjust it again with the wheel lifting 
the text a little bit up and we enter again the real-time preview and now let's play it back. Our car starts at Berlin and at Hamburg we go on board of our ship. And here it goes. A nice curve over the sea. Now entering the river and you have seen this fast movement of the ship when it comes to the many curves here on the river and leaving Hamburg as well. This movement is a little bit disturbing, is a little bit annoying because the curves are so small in comparison to the size of the ship. And exactly for these situations we have the option of calming movement. So I activate the calming movement. So let's see how it looks like with this option activated. I play back first the car section. And now you can see that all the strange movements of the ships have gone, especially entering the river heading to London. Calm movement and this is the nice option, very important this option for these situations where the object is much bigger than the curves of the route line. So let's go back to the route sections. I have said earlier that I would like to use two sections, two stages for this whole route to have the possibility to make the route line look different in both sections. So I will select now stage one and now let's have a look at the route line for stage. You see this is the continued yellow line and with the menu line shape we can select between 20 different line types. We have a straight line and a dashed line and so we have 10 different pairs with different symbols and for this example I would like to use number 14 here, the two colored dotted line. And with the two buttons for line color we can change color 1 and color 2. For example, let's change the second color. I select a yellow 2 but now I set it a little bit more light yellow and now the line looks like this. You see this is very easy and for the ship section for stage 2 I don't want any root lines so I change to stage 2 and simply deactivate the root line for stage and it disappears. Now let's have a look at the preview. We play it back and behind the car appears the yellow dotted line and over the sea we don't see anything but our ship. So this looks really fantastic. So the new Easy Assist mode is no problem even when we create slightly more complex projects and it is not only useful for beginners but as well as for the veterans of Vasco da Gama because we all have to do more or less the same groundwork when we start a, a new project and we can realize this much faster in the easy assist mode. And then we can switch to the expert mode to fine tune every detail.